When you're enjoying the beach or the bay, you might not be thinking about what's going on at the bottom of the seafloor. But it turns out there's a big problem building up. Hi, I'm Alistair and I'm an expert in shallow water ecosystems. And here in Brisbane's Moreton Bay, we're surveying the mud that's piling up on the bottom of the bay. Let's go. The mud building up under the bay has washed there from creeks and waterways due to erosion from widespread tree clearing. In the last 50 years, the amount of mud coating the bottom of Moreton Bay has more than doubled. A few hundred years ago, this entire area was filled with clean marine sand, just like this. But that's not the case anymore, and that's bad news for the life forms living below. That's because, unlike sand, mud smothers the seafloor and clouds the water, blocking the crucial sunlight that seagrasses and algae rely on to grow. And since lots of the smaller organisms, like mollusks and tiny crustaceans, live amongst these structures, mud can affect the entire bottom-dwelling ecosystem. Eco-scientists like me want to get a better idea about how much mud is collecting in the bay. So we're undertaking a huge field survey to map the seafloor. To do this, we need a few different methods. The first is using this grab sampler. It's like a claw. We lower down to the seabed to grab a surface sample. This top layer of mud is softer and easily erodible, resulting in cloudy water. There used to be seagrass at this depth, but we can see that there's no plant life in this sample. We can also get deeper samples to look at changes in the mud. These are called volume samples, and to get them, we need this. This tube has a weight on top that drives the tube into the sediment floor and a valve to release any water that's collected inside. Then we simply close the valve, sealing the mud inside the tube, and lift it back into the boat. Using this method, we can collect a core sample up to 70 centimetres long. We can study the entire core sample to see how the mud has changed from decades ago to recent times. But even with all these core samples, it can be difficult to join the dots. So to do this, we use a very cool piece of technology. It's called a sub-bottom profiler. It acts like a speaker, sending sound to the bottom of the bay and reading the signals bouncing back. The receiver is so powerful, it can detect layers in the sea floor up to 40 meters deep. So we can tell the exact thickness of the mud that lies on top of the original sand bed. Using these methods, we can pinpoint where the mud is building up and which waterways it's flowing from. We've learned that over 80% of the mud in the bay comes from just 20% of the creeks. So now we can rehabilitate these areas and limit erosion and stop the mud from entering the bay. This will give our ecosystem a fighting chance.